Now, as more people have been at home, authorities here in the Triangle and across the state say they're issuing fewer speeding tickets. But the drivers who are speeding are doing so at excessive rates of speed. Some drivers in Durham have been clocked in at going more than 100 miles per hour. CBS 17's Crystal Price is digging deeper and joins us live from the Weather Beast. Crystal. Well, it's simply because there are fewer people out on the roadway now. We are here on I-85, and let's take a look outside at the traffic. There's not nearly as many people out during rush hour as there normally would be if we weren't under a stay-at-home order. Now, with fewer people on the road, that opens up an opportunity for more people to speed. Now, here in Durham, police say within the last week, they've issued more tickets to people driving 25 miles per hour or more over the speed limit. One of those drivers on I-40 was going 101 and several others were going as fast as 90 miles per hour. Now there can be serious consequences if you were caught driving over 100. Police could cite you with careless and reckless driving, which means you could lose your license and even have to go to jail. Due to the limited amount of traffic on the roadways that it gives it more opportunity for people to speed, lower your speed, be safe on the roadways, don't text and drive, uh, don't be distracted while driving. You know, all these things are going to play a part in saving their or someone else's life. Now, unfortunately, there have been three deadly crashes in Durham in the last three weeks, and in all of them, excessive speed was a factor. Now, police say they plan to increase patrols on the interstates on the interstate in hopes of getting people to slow down. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.